Alright, yeah, Shalawam, Shalawam. Shalawam. Yahawa, Basham Yahushai, Basham Raka Kodash. Right. I found an altar with the inscription to the unknown God, whom therefore ye ignorantly worship him, declare I unto you, the Most High that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Thanks to the unknown God. As the Apostle Paul was passing by, he saw them men, men of Athens. You know, they had an altar re resurrected, erected, and they had on it to the unknown God. So they didn't know who they was worshipping. You know, so he come to tell them, hey, he might declare unto you, and that will be out here for. To declare the living power unto our people, because for a long season, as the scripture says, for a long season, I want to believe it's um, 2 Chronicles 15. 15, yeah, can. All right, our people have been in a state of ignorance. And for lack of knowledge, my people perish, how the most I says. All right, so now is the time and knowledge, so you have to, you have to acquire, at, 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 attain to knowledge. Come on here, come and learn. Don't just pass by, you know, thinking your own thoughts. Come and learn from the men of the Lord, your teachers. Yeah. yeah, these are Second Chronicles chapter 50 and verse 3. Yeah. What, what a spirit. big one, <laughs> What a spirit. From the time he said the Bible, he said what Bible? That spirit then he don't want to hear nothing coming out of that Bible. Yeah, you got this twice. Hey, hey, old side can we know this book here, right? Can. Second Chronicles 15 verse 3. There's no for a long season. Israel had been without the true power. And without a teaching priest, and without law. Yes, and before, a long season before, 
Elder Bob Evans came on the scene. You know, the Elder Apostles come on the scene. Since we came on the scene, the people like Turner Israel have been without the really true power. Alright, but now the most I sent his prophets out here. So no man can say they didn't know. I just kept saying, have they not heard in Romans chapter 10? Together. Romans chapter 10 and start of this. Because it's very important to know the name of the Lord. The scripture says what the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Alright, a strong tower. A place of refuge. That's right. And that's right. a time coming where there's gonna be total chaos out here, gonna be total distress. It's gonna be stormy out here. Alright? And you're gonna need a place of refuge. And the name of the Lord is that strong tower. Alright? Yeah, Romans chapter 10 verse 13 mm -hmm. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved Yeah, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved But that, Proverbs chapter 13 yeah. verse 4 says what, what is his name? And what that's, is his son's name? That's right You know if thou could tell right. Yeah. Right, So you have, to be, you have to be taught the name of the Lord It had to be manifested unto you Just like John in the book of John When the Lord told He was praying and he said I have manifested thy name until the men that thou gave us me out of the world. That's that right, that's right. So that, that, that in itself goes to show that the name of the Lord is not goody bad to so everybody. All right? Let it be of the initiated to receive the name of the Lord. That's hey, right. It, it goes to show that he is not probably a part of that initiated. Can. Because as he was going into it, he, he walked off. Yes, sir. All right? He walked off. So that way we know this word also is a sifter. That's right, that's right. This truth identifies elect and the two third all right it shows you who's the most high sheep because the scripture says my sheep will hear my voice and they will follow but those that are not, not of his sheep they ain't gonna follow that's right they're gonna mock they're gonna scoff they're gonna load the most high they're gonna disregard it all right but the elect going not here somebody yeah romans 10 and 14 how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed Mm -hmm. How shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Yes, so you had to believe. All right, calling on the name, not, the name of the Lord is not just for calling on its sake. All right, to access the power within that name, you had to have faith. All right, just as you have a shy when you went healing, you know, Jake, you always told them your faith is what made you whole. All right, your faith is what made you whole. So you had to have access to the power of that name, to your faith, to your belief. You know, but how are you going to believe? In whom we have not heard. If we the prophets now out here, if the trumpet not blowing, if you're not hearing that song, how you going to be able to sing along? All right, you won't be able to, and you'll be like out there in the desert, you know, in a dry place. But the most I what you open up the springs, you open up wells of water, you know, so that you can come and receive, you can receive the name of the Lord, receive salvation, a step to salvation. Go ahead. Says and hope. And how shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without their preacher? Mm -hmm. How shall they hear without that preacher? The word preacher is synonymous with the word teacher. All right, so we here to teach you people what you all don't know to the spirit of your and power of your Hawa Basham That's right. All right, the scripture says, Where thy eyes shall see thy teachers. All right, don't you know you're going through all this oppression, atrocities, challenges in this life, the lowest race of people. The Most High is going to restore your teachers. He's going to restore your judges. He's going to restore men that's going to shine that light so you can see where you're heading. So you can see the, the, the trickeries of the enemy out here. That's you can right, see that this right. image, the Cesar Borgia image, that why Jesus is false. That's right. And why you can see that the name Jesus is false. That's right, that's right. Prophets out here, the light bearers, the true light bearers, true Luciferians. Go ahead. It says, and how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written. Exactly, you have to be sent. All right, you have to be, you have to be apostle, a sent forth. You know, sent from the Mosa, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. There are many false prophets going out here that was not sent. All right, the Mosa, they didn't send them. They speak, the scripture says, but they're speaking things that they ought not. All right, these men, are, they, they pick up this work, you know, for fulfilling for Lucas' sake, to make a name for themselves. All right, but there's men that the Mosai chose, as the scripture says in Jeremiah 2, 15, I will give you pastors, pastors according to my heart. 
white pastors according to my heart. You know what will feed you in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, and hey, to be a to be a prophet of the Lord, to be a teacher of the Lord, you gotta be, you gotta be instant. All right, you gotta be instant. That the scripture said, you gotta be out here twenty four seven. All right, in season, out of season, year all year round. You can't take no breaks because the Lord's sheep is out here ready to be fed. That's right. All right, that's a more. It says, as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring good and bring glad tidings of good things. Yeah, we bring glad tidings of good things. You know, saying to you, you so-called black Latinos and Native American Indians that dwell at the children of Israel. You know, bringing it back to your heritage, showing you who your power is. Like good tidings of good things. Showing you that the kingdom to come, you're going to be in rulership. And the heathen nations that have you in division today, they're going to be serving you. All right, everything is going to be to your, your pleasure. That's right. All right, and it's going to be to their displeasure. The flip is going to swoop. This, this, this script is going to flip on these devils. Can, can. All right, to get um, Isaiah 41, that's a problem. 17. Because I will eat good tidings. I just kept just saying, um, is it Luke? Luke chapter 4, verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me to preach the gospel to the poor. Who's the poor? Look at, look at, just look around and you will see who's the poor. That's right, that's right. Just look around and you will see who's the needy. That's right. And why we don't have to go into details. You know, just look around and you're seeing who's the poor, who's the needy, who's the people robbed and spoiled. And it's us, without a doubt. All right, go ahead. Well, it's Isaiah 41 verse 17. Mm -hmm. It says, when the poor and needy seek water, mm -hmm. and there is none, and their, and their tongue faileth for thirst, I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the power of Israel, will not forsake them. Most I will not forsake us, and he has it. All right, look, we are the truth today. There is a sign that the most I didn't, he has not forsaken us. Because from this work, it's onward to the kingdom. That's right. All right, there is a one way to the kingdom. You know, these hidden nations, we, we, we speak against them, we prophesy against them to the face. You know, and we believe that one day our Lord is going to burst them skies, destroy our enemies and take us out of this place. That's right. Go ahead, right. some more. Just I will open rivers in high places. You open rivers in high places. All right, you're going in the internet. A brother doing a, vi a, a, a video every day. You know, you just had a type in Great Millstone and you're getting videos, wherever topic. You know, you're being fed. You open rivers to nourish you, to feed you. Go ahead. And fountains in the midst of the valleys. Fountains in the midst of the valleys. Hey, America. America is what is the valley and the shadow of death. Uh, all right, I tell hey, the brothers, the elders up there, doing this work diligently, pushing this truth. You know, so James, you, you all have access. You have access to the cleansing of Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, which is this word, this truth. You know, they so have no excuse in these last days. You have no excuse in That's these right. times. None. Everything being plainly shown unto you all. That's right. So all the ignorant, you know, all those that refuse to come to the truth, yeah, the, the most have all right to destroy them. Done. Because he gave them a warning. He kept that people to the most as the just Lord. The just Lord he always sends a warning. You know? But all people, some of them, they don't take warning. And why they, they like, some of them have to burn to learn. And that's the two thirds of the nation. It's already declared. A two thirds of all people, they're not going to happen. All right, they're going to pass by skin of the big fish. You know, see all sorts of derogative stuff. And then be destroyed. Just as in the days a lot. Just as in the days a lot. That's what I'm here. I don't know how to do it. How you doing? I'm here for you, Renny. You're Luke 17. Luke 17, you want? For the guy, you too. I'm here for you. See, I will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of the valley. Right, and valley, it says, I'm not going to go to the valley, and shadow of death. The fountain of valley are dry wood, and that fountain is where I was trying to say, 
جان سمتدیه میرد بیلی به دامی از شکر پیاس آقا باید بلی شد تو رفاق آقا یه فیلم موتا دست ورد بنیان بخت لایف آقا یه فیلم موتا بنیان بخت لایف یه فیلم بخش آقا شعر و آقا I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. Out here like a dry land because what the truth, the truth wasn't pushed. You know, it's not pushed on a, on a broad scale out here. It's only, it's only falls in. You know, all the way it turns, it just falls in. And these things are dry. That's why the, that's why the water that the Lord spoke of. You know, that's why I just create to more, to more ignorance than the Christian church. They're encouraging it to celebrate Christmas. In the Christian church, they encouraging adultery. It's high class idolatry. Uh. You know, they're encouraging it to be a homosexual, come as you are. So you're not being 